Vault. Uh, I have been playing Fallout Shelter, I'm sure many of you have. Go ahead and choose Vault number here. Do triple seven. Come on. <laughs> wait for it to load, wait for it to go to its next message. Get this blanket off here. Ugh. It was a little chilly in the house here. I had it down to like 70 degrees, so. Okay, so welcome to your new vault overseer. Let's introduce you to the basic concept. And we're going to do a power generator. We're going to go ahead and confirm that. Alright, so let's go ahead and select the build zone. Last time I did this, I put my power generator on the exact same level as uh, my initial floor. Which wasn't too bad. I mean, if you have it powered down and you're trying to wait for this thing to come back up, it does help. But I would prefer actually to keep all the power and resources on the left side, below the elevator side, or you know, basically below the vault door. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, because what ends up happening is when you're expanding uh, for space, it's really hard to expand for space when you've basically blocked it off. So your initial living quarters. Let me let our dwellers in here. Our initial living quarters are basically uh, going to be expanded uh, once we get to a point where we want to build larger rooms. So we're going to go ahead and assign these guys to our power. Go ahead and back up here. You got to hold X, let go to drop them in, and click it again one more time. And that'll send them over. All right, so what I want to do is I want to get both of them in there. We want them to generate as much power as possible. And if you give me a moment here, I'm going to get us some light. Cause... Ah, there we go. Got a little bit dark, so. So our next step here, we have 500 caps to work with. We're going to start um, doing a little bit of expanding and it's basically telling us we can zoom in with R2. Oh, we got Elise. How you doing Elise? Long time no see. All right. Um, I avoid using rush mode by the way, it's saying I can use rush mode if I want to get resources faster. That's a great way to light your, you know, power generator on fire or you know, water facility or whatever you're working on. I just, I stay away from that. Just like when you're in State of Decay 2 searching for resources, don't use the L button to search Fast. for resources faster because you will get attacked like 90% of the time. All right. So if you're in dire need of extra resources, you can use the rush mode up to open the rush menu. We're going to go ahead and just ignore that. Um, now, it says incident, 33% possibility. Let's see if the game screws us over. Usually the first one, it doesn't. First, first yeah, um, I'm broadcast. Okay, please stop. You were doing your thing back there. Don't come out here and interrupt mine. All right, so just like before with the uh, living quarters, you know, you're gonna want to expand that later on. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, it has been a really long time. I'm doing a lot better than I was before. Um, I've been dealing with depression. Uh, clinical depression is no joke. Uh, let's see here. So we want to make sure that we have room for expansion. So what, what I'm going to do is go ahead and isolate this. So what we'll do is we'll leave 
one side of the floor for power generation, another side of the floor up here for the living quarters. Then we'll take another level where we can do food, and below on the left side, as I said before, we'll use that for resources. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place our food. Let's go ahead and do the diner on the second level on the right. And we want our water treatment now. And like I said before, keep it to one side. You know, use your resources on one end and use your living and your uh, food facilities and storage on the other end. Keeps it pretty simple. That way things don't get all bogged down and, you know, you start losing space over it. So we'll do that on the left. Yeah, depression does suck. All right, uh, so great work. Here's some food and water to start your vault. Press L3 to display your vault meter details, and remember to keep track of your resource needs. So we'll hit X. It's going to give us some resources. And we have more dwellers at the front door. So these guys are going to come running up, and we're going to go ahead and assign them. And that's just let me know we could expand our facility here. So let's go ahead and go up. You can rename them by uh, clicking on L3. Looks like he's pretty even. There we go. And then click on R3 uh, in order to open up the side menu for special, which is your strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. It's obviously that's an acronym. Um, so we want to find... I hate it when they pop this stuff up. You want to find people that have the correct aptitudes uh, for, their, uh, for their assigned spaces. Hey, please, be quiet or take it somewhere else. You'll see that the uh, aptitude has a negative effect. Try to place them in an area that they can't be. Let's go ahead and get her up here. Now, if that continues to pop up, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the, the notifications. And look at this guy, he gets a five when I put him at the uh, diner. So he obviously knows how to cook here. Right, let's turn off this uh, notification. I'm getting sick of it already. Now, if you want it. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it does remind me a little bit of kind of like SimCity or Sims uh, style. There is another game that I got into playing recently. It's called Cities. And that one is on Xbox for sure. I don't believe it's on PlayStation yet, or I don't know if it will ever be, but um, that one's called Cities, and uh, that game is like spot on an exact clone of SimCity. Alright, so let's get him down here, doing water treatment. And... There we go. So we have all of our dwellers assigned. Go ahead and grab our resources here.
here. We'll uh, we'll name some of the characters after our viewers here. My daughter's uh, interrupting again. She doesn't understand, you know, that it's, it gets on my nerves. I've asked her a few times to knock it off. Got this game called House Flipper. Daddy's big balls. <laughs> Here, since this guy's name is Harold Hancock, we'll just make him Harry Hancock. Horses real quick here. Daddy Big Balls. <laughs> there you go. So that's Daddy Big Balls there. <laughs> Philip Brooks. Uh, we'll make this guy uh, Babbling Brook. <laughs> Whoops, one too many bees. Classy name. <laughs> All right, so we did them. Grab the power. Try nitwit. I want to say try nitwit. I guess his name might be. Uh, <clears throat> look at Eugene Simmons. Come on. We'll, we'll just shorten his name a little here. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Davidson. Okay, we're gonna rename her to Harley. Oi. Two people at the door here. Sarah Simmons, huh? Christine Lord. Oh, the girl Lord. I'm sorry, I have to say that. Okay, so we need to build first here. And we're going to add on to the current living quarters. Let's collect our caps and our power, water, or I'm sorry, food and water. Go back over here. And we'll assign her to the... So I'm just gonna change her name since it's already, it's Christine Lord, I'm gonna change it to just Lord. Sarah Simmons. Now, who does she look like? She looks like that one workout trainer, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> L 
lot of vagina. Expand the diner. There we go. Get some power. Check our levels. Hopefully, we don't let any uh, psychos in here. And I think I just put somebody in her place. <laughs> Daddy Big Balls. She's supposed to be up here in the diner. Wait, she gets a two up top? Nice. Zero, negative one. Give it Let's see if we can put her in there. Let's see if we can get more for her. No. In here. Oh. Ryan White. Three, one. There. Come on. and he can be kind of looks like a younger Monopoly guy oh my god he does hey please or leave you didn't want to be out here until you started noticing I was broadcasting yeah, you didn't want to do it earlier you didn't want to play it earlier I don't care. I gave you your space, give me mine. So we're gonna look at our meter here. Looks like we're low on food. We have enough energy. Our water's getting slightly low. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand our water treatment facility here. Not sure why these people are all just sitting around. Alright. Not really sure what the hell just happened here. John Sanders. Uh oh. These two are in the back. Fooling around. Oh, he's done. 
and she has a baby. He just joined the vault and he's already knocking people up. Look at that. All right, so let's. I was gonna name this guy Colonel Sanders, but you know what? I'll do Captain Crunch. It says Cap N, like C A P apostrophe N. It's Captain. It's always been Captain Crunch. And that only got recently changed in the last, you know, decade or less. Alright. So let's find a place for him. Two, two. Let's see here. Put him in here to work. Room's useless until we generate more power. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't have enough caps. So me getting distracted over here uh, caused me to forget about upgrading my power room and only worried about my water treatment facility. So sorry about that. Looks like we're going hungry here, losing everything. Next time I ask you to leave me alone, but leave me alone. Doesn't mean coming here and bug me. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. Uh, my daughter's not listening. She's being a real dick, so. gonna lose her PlayStation and computer real soon. But thanks guys. Sorry for uh, cutting this off early. I wanted to hang out longer. <laughs>